Hi friends, this is Ashley Latecki Ellen Boss with Sky House Herb School and Apothecary. And for today's body break, we are going to embody the energy of rocks. And you might be thinking, how do we embody rocks? They don't move, but they do. And I want us to think about the shapes of rocks. Um, I think one of the great powers of rocks is their stillness and their steadiness. So while we are exploring these shapes, I want you to also really work on maintaining this internal state of stillness. So let us begin. So we will start coming all the way down and you might wanna have a little bit of space. So you can come down to your knees and we're gonna take what we call in yoga as child pose, sometimes called rock pose. So you're gonna take your hip back to your heels and reach your arms forward and bring your forehead all the way down to the floor. And so in a way, we're gonna start off in a rock shape, letting your hips get really heavy, your shoulders relax, hands can relax. Maybe even relax the jaw, the eyes. And take a moment here to be still. Rocks have the amazing capacity to last. So let's feel that lasting power, that power of perseverance, aging over a long period of time, slowly. And then take an inhale and start to rise up. Drag your hands back to your thighs. And we'll just start to move the spine a little bit. So imagine that you are inside of a large rock. You can keep your eyes closed here and I want you to pay attention to what does the edge or what do the edges of this rock look like? What color is this rock? And as you move your spine forward and back, Start to move your arms now out to the sides and explore the space inside of this stone. Reaching forward and back. Pressing up to the top of where the stone edge meets the sky and pressing down into the earth. Even let your hands really push down as if you could feel the weight of this stone around you grounding itself heavily into the earth. So push, 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 press, 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 and then slowly come back up. You can come to rock back on your heels. So you can tuck your toes under and then help yourself up. If that doesn't work, you can step one forward press your hands into your thigh and come all the way up to standing. And now I want us to explore different stone or rock shapes. So again, you may have found an image of a stone, but let's not just imagine that we are a big round boulder. So as you inhale, the arms come round and up. And as you exhale, the arms come round and down and even grab the bottom of that boulder. Just try that a few times. What is it like to be so heavy? So old? So soft on the edges. to imagine a more sharp type of stone, maybe a crystal even. And just let your arms and your body explore what it might be like to have jagged edges. What might it be like? You can move around here. What does jagged, 
What do spikes feel like? How would you express these through the energy field of your body? And now imagine a river has been worn flat. Start to explore the space that is horizontal. So let your movements go side to side. Let your arms sweep across the horizon. If you wanna get on the ground and lay flat, do that. And now imagine that you are a little stone in a child's pocket. A little stone. Bring your hands to your heart. You are a little stone. Maybe nothing very special on the outside, but you mean something very special to this little person. So close your eyes and tap into that. What does this stone feel like from the inside out? What has made this child grab the stone and place it in his or her or their pocket? And now start to move, move from the agents of that stone. The gift of that stone in you, expressing through movement. Lasting. Durable. Part of a larger stone. And then start to bring it back to center, hands coming back to the heart. Connecting with the natural breath. Pounding through the feet, a lifting through the crown, feeling the bones of the body like the rocks inside of you. And just take a moment of gratitude for those, for those bones for the stones, the crystals. And then take a deep breath in and a big sigh out. <sighs> and that is all for today's body break. Thank you for joining. Thank you for participating. Thank you for taking care of your body and your bones. And if you liked this, give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend, and I wish you all a wonderful